I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. Playing as Giganta. So against Giganta I'll keep? What is Giganta and Pioneer anyways? Sacrifice. Five color BLT. <clears throat> Temple Garden Giganta. That's BLT probably then. And it's kind of stinky, so maybe... I don't know, I think it's a keep. <clears throat> BLT. My hand is less stinky now. I think lead with a voice. Fry deliver attack. Chain to the rocks on my voice. We miss a land drop though. Play the vampire, they shouldn't be able to remove it cleanly here. Maybe with binding for free mana on their next turn or chained. Number two. He's a phenomenal control player. Let's go. Then pick up Giganta. He probably wants to bind. I could court for. Prosperous in Keeper. Try to come on next turn. Draw with the Vampire this way. Could also court for the one drop guy, but I think in Keeper would the. Uh... I mean, I'm making it clear that it's court, but. They want to wait. Make treasure draw card. Now land and slaughter games on Amalia and I can win. Well, just slaughter games, I guess, without a land. Holy fuck. I even lose the one from my hand, it's so bad. Slaughter games in Pioneer. Hits differently. Once again, holy shit. All right, I called. For one of my free drops and hope it's <laughs> good enough to win. As my opponent Omnaths, Omnaths, BLTs for Valky, Valky 7 power, <sighs> Elshnorn, yeah, I guess that works too. Sport foot seizures get lost reconstructions right then might specialist poor one apparition good I don't think I want to I think cord is just horrible in this matchup So yeah, this challenge is my I don't know if it's my last like time I'll play Amalia. Uh well not last time but if I keep failing then it's gonna be my last time. Or rather if I keep getting destroyed by Enigmatic and BLT, because mentally I just cannot withstand getting bullied by those decks. 
it's just too much for me. Return to the ranks also kind of sucks against them. I'll should probably have like an action keeper for powering up my combo and my reconstructions and all of that. So this hand has nothing going for it, I think. Return is pretty bad. Amalia alone, voice. Playing it up land first. I mean, I do curve out, but in like a completely unthreatening way. Okay. Is this better? Two Walgar Walkers. He's a phenomenal I think the Welcoming Vampire player. might just be not delivering on its promises. I'm afraid. Has its moments, but I think playing more than one is not good enough. Like maybe sometimes, but it doesn't really do what I wanted to do, which is to, you know, too easy to be dealt with. Like, like if I play it here into a ley line binding, that's too bad. My opponent plays a fable, I can go vampire walker, that's nice. Draw a card, if I draw a company or restructuration, rest in peace. Peace has been rested. Still can get binded on the vampire. Bound. Point reading the card. No, I guess it was in play game one. Holy shit, it actually drew a card? That's insane. I take back everything about that I said about the Elcoming Vampire that wasn't high praise. Holy shit, Dina Salt Steeper. For sure my opponent will not play anything that resembles a defending Clarion on their next turn. That resembled defending Clarion quite... Quite a lot, actually. I think I'll play Scattered Groves this way. If I draw the Giga Company, I can play it. So they had the binding, they just wanted to sweep. For mana, time for Slaughter Games on Amalia. No, it's Omna Flocus of Creation. That fits too. Oh no, no, it's Omna Flocus of Creation into Fetch Swamp into BTL for Slaughter Games. Elishnorn, Mother of Machines. Holy shit. Well, we're almost almost there. Just need to explore. So if their hand is three blanks, and I find a way to combo, then I'll combo, which is Might or Kellan. Of course, if they have literally anything in their hand, my plan does no longer, no longer works. Okay, cycle triumph. Pain cost, other triumph, let's go. Holy shit. Other triumph, karyatid. Holy shit. Might have a binding, but. Okay. 
Can we rip and get lost? It's controller, you say. Holy shit, I won. We get lost. Get lost. Map creating ability nonetheless. I have to say, I am baffled. And. Alright. This guy survives defending Clarion, which is nice. Two Fotsy seems good, 26 creatures. Uh, I have two Boserju, an Apparition, and a Might for the Rencha as Hamans, so that feels good enough. This is okay against Clarion. This is bad against Rest in Peace, so Extraction Specialist will be left behind. I think this is also bad against mm, Rest in Peace. It's probably pretty weird that they scoped, but I guess they would have taken 20 damage. And I would try to put a server on top, if not, like, at least something like company. It seems pretty hard to win if they slaughter games my Amalia. No, that's a hand. This Bosedri will cast all of my stuff. I swear. He's a phenomenal control player. Yeah, I'll keep the six, not being too happy about it. Kept seven. Boys. Playable Sergio and P Hall. Do I care to apparition the P Hall? Or do I play Wild Rope Walker? I feel like apparitioning is a much stronger play. It's four power. Just means there is some pressure on my opponent to do anything. Non fastland, non scattered growth lands are good top decks now with company. There's some merit to setting up this or this, but like this is not even weak to e Clarion too much. Swamp, no Omnath. Let's go slaughter games from hand. This is Giganta summoning. Red, white, green, Clarion. Okay. Fairly Dina now. Damage my opponent a bit. <sighs> Tyler's reconstruction currently working insanely well as a cyborg card. Ooh, grab Giganta, alright. Point stag looking shameful. Fuck. That's good. Just pass with company. No point in pressing the button too fast. Like, is there a chance they play counter magic? Or we need to like get through it then. They don't. Malia Walker. That kills them if they don't interact, so they need to interact. Okay, kill Amalia with rending volley. 
not exploding, but instead you take a good amount of damage. And we have the reconstruction to rebuild if we had some extra lands. Too bad, you know, Amalia was the one targeted. I mean, of course it makes sense. It's the only one they could target with Rending Volley, really, and it's the best creature. But exploring, like, a few extra lands would go a long way. I think they're considering whether to kill Dina, too. Oh, they're hitting the elemental. Okay. Holy shit, that's a good draw. Another one. Alright, it fell so desperate in the middle of game two, but then I won game two. Like by the skin of my teeth, and then I just managed to pretty easily, you know, play company against spot removal, and then just they just kind of died to the combo eventually. We had the reconstruction in my hand, which, well, it wasn't super great because it was not castable. Well, it was castable for like just one creature, I guess. Like, it is a five plus mana card, so it's like only good if the game drags on a bit more. Nonetheless, round two begins. Hmm. Two days ago, Bond Spirits, two spells, Kel and Amalia, this for two mana. Play Kel play Amalia. Okay, Mava, skip. But you can easily flood and die, or not even flood and die. Seems like it's Phoenix, anyways. Good, good draw. <laughs> Journey on. Shredder. I summon Kelan. I think I summon Kelan. Maybe I should summon Walker. I think it's too easy for my opponent to hold bay removal here and just like. <sighs> Read the face, sorcery speed, no country, it takes fiery impulse. Will you impulse? Yeah, will you, huh? You will, okay. Connive away, prankster. Can make a walker and explore. Maybe a free five doesn't get tied to impulse anymore. Needs an axe. He's a phenomenal. Can play a welcoming player. vampire, but this Hello. lets my opponent kind of have free roam. Might want to keep them up for ex comboing off though. Let's play the vampire. Return to the ranks. Probably one of the best cards against Phoenix. Tia yeah, 93 Blue Blue Free the Fae once again into Consider Vens Vens Cruise Alright, cruise away buddy I don't care if you do that That's fine Is that Axe? No, that's Cruise No, that's... Okay, to Consider Slave for you. Umpire gets to stay and play. Slave for you. Play Johnny Walker. Holy guacamole. Yeah. 
this hasn't played out well. Kellan on the draw is not so good against Phoenix. But I don't like it's fine, but also doesn't break the like party team anyways. And my opponent had Shredder on two. Which then is great when followed up by removal. This time just kill my creatures and progress. Oh, so this is under free defense. I have a lightning axe. Okay. Well, it's just always going to be a lightning axe. So I appreciate that he spends 10 minutes thinking as to whether he can take is a charm to lock his chances of victory 1000%. But I also never beat lightning axe. So is a charm. But if he takes is a, is a charm, it also probably means that I never beat. Is it charm either? Probably block. If it just means is a charm dealing damage to feed into the vampire, that's fine. Spike field, okay. I the way Phoenix, which I think puts me on no outs. Even though this is like close to being an out. There's only one more vents in the deck. So like maybe it is in hand. But he can axe well again, is it charm anything else? Can is it charm the veteran? I shouldn't have played the veteran. I should have said you this first, and maybe there is no no red in his deck anymore. I can do it for peace of mind. But I absolutely should have just not played the veteran then. This would be kind of sweet, but I missed that. Flows blue. Holy shit, it was so bad to play the veteran. The Boseju line. Maybe he's gonna float blue and not have the land and then just cast to consider. I don't know why he would ever do that, but you never know. He did float blue. Alright, four vents was in the deck, nothing mattered. I think against Phoenix, the Vampire is not so good, nor particularly needed. Voice is gonna, voice and extraction specials are gonna be the grindy cards here. It's always, <clears throat> in some way, has felt extremely nice out of Phoenix to let you <sighs> use your graveyard fully without interruption. Which is very nice, always. So I lose to three instance errant or sorceries, returning the phoenixes. He's discarding lands, maybe he doesn't have them. Scry bottom, okay. Still need a way to gain life, which I don't have. Okay, it's just extra turn. Yeah, that's ten. Let's have the apparition. No vampires. Extraction specialist. Remorse for Krellic and fetal push. Well, dreaming chords. And an innkeeper. We have like three chord. I kill so many of my creatures, so probably would rather draw real creatures. Sentinel survives free damage cards, so that seems okay to me. <clears throat> Probably my keep wasn't good. Mm. 
Well, all right, I'll have to move. Holy shit. I'll simply draw two lands to have company on time. Wow. I mean, I guess I did put that card into my deck myself, so... Who else is there to blame? Let's go, turn to Shredder. Holy shit. That's horrible. Feels like the top of my deck was already explored through its entirety of Amalia, huh? I think a sweeper is very likely, but I think I, I mean, I have to play my cards. There is no way. My hand is just, you know, mana screwed. Spike will hazard on the dork. Solid. Come on. A concealed courtyard into any untapped land, please. These are, so opponent's hand is it's removal and okay, it had a sweeper. Just wanted to spike field the veteran. Definitely, the playing Amalia. If she gets killed now, I. Use it to put her into my graveyard for return to the ranks. My pierces or companies. The other strokes are in my opponent's hand. Let's get Walker with this return to the ranks. It trades for a pierce or not stroke. Or forces a removal spell. Pierce. So we remove the pierce. Company is safe next turn. From the pierce at least. And maybe I can resolve the second return. Just thinking that stroke might still be there in opponent's hand, but I guess it sure feels like a hand with possible stroking in it, but if it does next turn, I return the ranks to negate. I guess negate is like stroke, maybe a bit better. So next turn I try to return the entire combo. Young Pyro, two cards left in hand. My saving life is better. More counter magic, bro. Then Pierce Negate. No, run out. Okay. So, I guess I stop at a company. What a weird card, Young Pyromaster with Brotherhood's End. That is not a combo. The Remorseful Cleric is probably a bit trash to have. Like, I'm not even sure if it's actually a good card to bring 
I guess it's gonna block Amalia after I gain life. Maybe that's the idea. Right. Turn up auto yields and flashback lunar veteran. Almost forgot. Can you kill a god? Okay, Phoenix tracks as a card that would have been in their hand. I don't have Foxes in my deck, so I'll just play Reservoir next turn. Play Mana Confluence in case of top deck peers. Play Reservoir. Fifty U. Okay. If he has negate, do I want Fotsies? I have twenty six creatures, so I can't cut many more for company purposes. Probably doesn't have many negates. It's a reason not to play Kyla's Reconstruction for sure. Maybe I can cut the cords entirely, but I probably should want to keep two to assemble a combo a bit more often. And maybe I can have one Fotsis, one cord. Fotsis can be like, can really mess against Phoenix though. I think I won't play it. Against the five color decks, Fort CZS, yes, but against the non five color decks, Phoenix just doesn't have cards that are so key. So key. Yes. It's gonna be really bad if I get Ledger Shredded on turn two. And then Spell Peeves on my company. Maybe that's not gonna happen though. Okay, opponent moves. I think I keep this. A land is an okay top deck because company is castable. The reservoir in hand is, you know, not doing anything for a while. Opponent moves to five. Mm hmm. Leads an island. I play Overground Tomb. Okay. Throws away in a gate. Maybe I should play a pair of elves or a pair of geese to have a few more wonders. I, I would board them against this matchup anyways. So it would suck, so I guess it doesn't really make sense. But it feels like passing turn one is a little bit bad quite often. I like a braid on Amalia since I have a second one. It's looking for land free. Kept on top. Maybe also looking to fuel a cruise. Pathway and blue. It's really inconvenient if my push shop pay too live. It's just, you know. Revealing it face up at this point, but it's also Bosejo, I guess. It's right bottom. Are you cruising now? It's right bottom, no cruise. I'll play the reservoir then. Upgrade is in the graveyard, so it's safe. Do you pierce that? Holy guacamole, you actually do. Should 
should resolve right. Get a spike field. Holy shit. Oh, Wild of Cake Walking. I cruise and I'm kinda dead. If I play Amalia, I'm weak to Sweeper, but it's just, I guess, half of his life total. Keep the Walker. Well, half, like four of damage. So I'll keep the other Walker. Don't want to get super blown by the Brotherhood's fucking end, Christ. Right, I need a company again. <laughs> Wild of Walking. Let's go. Holy shit. Nice mana base. Did he catch Shredders? Or just not draw it? He had Young Pyro. Every draw step I'm just shivering. Cruise and it's gonna be so bad for me, but... Heck walkers are doing their job. I can draw extraction specialist would be really good too. At this point I can draw Dina. Kellan. It's plus plus six life, plus three power maybe, plus two or plus two plus two power or plus three power. Return to the ranks is also a good top deck now. Two second white available. He's casting something. Lightning Axe, discarding Lightning Axe on my Innkeeper. Holy shit. That's so nice for me. Here comes the threat. Let's untap. Do not give any chances of conniving. Fourth Overrun Tomb. Nice Kyla's Reconstruction deck, by the way. Maybe I should play it to threaten lethal at this point. It's probably should. Probably the best line was to push in and play Apparition. And have a 1 3 1 3 2 2 and just attack. Honestly. 3 the Fae. Fed Find Cruise. Shit. Why are you Fey? Holy shit, no. Play the Pickle of Prankster, bro. Play it. I mean, I don't know. I also want my return to the ranks to be a good top deck. He's <sighs> cruising. Max discard Phoenix. Good draw. I do have the explore creature, so maybe I should fire a company pre combat. Hmm. I should Not bad, not bad. The removal has to be pointed at the Lunar Veteran, which means that the walkers grow to four toughness, which means they survive Brotherhood's end and they're lethal post combat. But also, that was another reason to do it pre combat because the walkers should be lethal then. So, I kind of screwed it. Huge mistake, actually. Holy shit, I hope I don't get punished. 
point could take extra turns technically now about phoenixes but like copy extra turn if he hasn't boarded it out but Brosejo. Wait, that's the combo. A combo. See, I have failed to realize that I combo still. Holy shit. So I want to return on top. Yeah, because I have I gain life with like Amalia and Walker, so obviously a combo. So I guess it's good that I attacked first because it made so that they couldn't target Amalia with the axe. I don't know if it actually worked like this. It's gonna be a really big Amalia and I'm gonna have lots of life because of double walker. And they have to block the Amalia every turn while I top the return to the ranks and also have Skyglow Apparition for a blocker. Alright, this worked out alright. I I blanked for a moment, I was like, shit. But obviously, this company was actually insane. And the fact that it was Extraction Specialist, it actually like meant that they can't stop me, right? Well, Irregular Amalia would work the same way, I guess. I'd still just have a gain a life trigger. And if that... Life can trigger resolves, there's two walkers, so they can't kill both walkers. They can't kill Amalia because they don't have free life. But I guess if I do it pre-comma, they can't kill Amalia either, but I don't attack for two. So yeah, so it was good too. I don't know. What if I hit Amalia and gain life? No, oh, but then I always loop. So I guess my next top card was Sentinel of the Nameless City, so accompanying first, pre-combat would be good if I had Sentinel in my company, but like no Amalia, no combo. That way, Amalia would... I forgot to flashback Lunar Veteran again. <sighs> Whatever. So that way... The veteran would make a map, I would crack at sorcery speed to grow my walkers to enough life damage and then not playing the veteran actually might be a huge mistake. Because if opponent has negate now. If I had the veteran I would have an extra white source for returning the ranks, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. Alright, let's play the apparition anyways. I don't even want to return the ranks now. Cause like, what did I get? Voice? It was so bad to get the veteran. Holy shit. I mean, I get voice. I can get voice and like four wild walkers without this way to gain life. Because there's no D now or anything. I guess I just don't return to the ranks, I just attack. Can have a removal spell for apparition. No. Okay, just dies. Free the Fey. Why are you Fey? There's a charm. Minus 39. Holy chat, this game. Oh, felt a little bit. Not good keep two companies in hand I think I'll just go fast land fast land in case I draw a third one rather than turn one top land since then I have walker into sentinel into company into company this ragdos fought seas 
think return to the ranks is probably pretty good against Phoenix. Like overall. What's his bug? So it makes sense to play more to play against Phoenix. The reservoir has been an ugly draw. It's relevant in some matchups, but it might be better suited in the sideboard. Who knows? Black, black. No, no black, black. Black, red, NT. All right. I summon Sentinel of the Nameless City. If I don't draw a land, I can go crack map, walker, maybe even crack the second map. That's gonna be a pretty powerful board too. Two Johnny Walkers. I think Sentinel looks pretty nice in low amounts. Don't want to like have a handful of it, but... I guess if they hold removal, then I can explore. Bank Basta. Post combat. This is interesting because I could play Walker, crack map on Sentinel, crack another map on Sentinel. I have two free fives. But I can crack the maps next turn too. Combine can miss. I also can assemble the combo that wins the game. I'll cast company this turn. Seems better. Sure. I have another walker in my hand, so I think I'll just let it go and EOT. Oh, they shared mono companies. Amalia, map. I don't even think it's worth it to play Amalia Walker now. Rather, there's no need. I mean, it's just company again, I think. Because if my opponent gets to spend removal effectively, I don't know. Because <laughs> all four companies, the mental damage from this duress, main deck duress and Ragdos again. It's got cords, have the welcoming vampires in. An extraction specialist. Could have some more removal, could have get lost. I think get lost is just really bad. Against Ragdos, could have pushes. Stream a prosperous innkeeper. And moles. Hand is not great, but I'll keep. I think just having lands is good to make companies and restructure constructions into good draws and I play a better run into voice, that's something. I have Bosserju for something. Well no, not the blood type. Next turn, my opponent could Path of Peril or something like that. That's much worse, I guess. 
Yeah, I'll take it. I think blocking is too bad. Maybe I should just boss with the bank buster. Honestly, I probably should. I have the company and I have the restructuring mana with Innkeeper. And if they just keep drawing with it, I'll die. Stomp. Okay. I gain two. Ha. Holy shit. I have one card. I could grow it. Oh, actually, I get two maps. That's nice. I could grow the elemental by two. I'm going to keep it into Kalan. So I get best plan now. We have a sweeper on top of that. It's a bit rough. This is, doesn't even let me. This doesn't even let me cast my Lunark veterans, which is. Outrageous. But next turn I get to play Walker. Use map. Can find Amalia. With my scrying attack with Kellan, draw it, play her. I guess if I draw a land, I can use a map. What if my map? Gives me a land, and I guess if there is a Mali underneath it, but then I wouldn't know to attack. Bone Crusher Giant, that's fine. Just no. Nothing like Path of Peril, friend. This is what I ask for. I guess I'll just explore onto Kellan to make Kellan bigger. To be able to attack into Bone Crusher. So I'll play Walgrove Walker. Explore on Kalan. Might get pushed or killed some other way. Sad. Attack with a 5-5. Five, five. Explore on Wildgrove Walker 3-5 seems like a good stat line. Kellan on the graveyard. Well, I don't mind drawing Kellan. Seems actually pretty useful. Grows my Walker to attack next turn too. Bloodcrack. Discard your ass, love to see that. Journey on. Being on veteran is the best because then free creatures are getting targeted. This can also attack as a free free maybe. Wildgrove Walker on top. Wildgrove Walker is not going to be a good... I have to bin it. Fatal push the Walker after I gain free life. Solid. This is a trick. They get to block pretty well if I attack with more than just the elemental token. 
So I'll tag with the elemental. They probably gonna trade twice. But I uh, key. Boron crusher blocks. Alright, I'll explore on the other veteran. And I reveal Prosperous Innkeeper, which goes straight to my graveyard because they should draw. I guess my best draw is Amalia. Maybe Welcoming Vampire. Or Apparition into Company. Also top decking pretty pretty Sever Lisa. What have you drawn? Why is my opponent having two mana to cast a one mana card? Or not even that. Alright. Top deck battle. 36 life versus 5 life. This is where I would love to draw painful troops, I guess. I think my opponent is just messing around with me. Does this stop? Extraction specialist. Yes, it does. Amalia is a great draw. Power word kill. So I could Bosedju it too if I draw Bosedju with Amalia. Return to the ranks is a dead top deck. It's really good. Otherwise, but I guess I'll graveyard it. Second apparition, second Bosedju. That's it, right? Free, re free removals for the runestone. But they have to play something, a creature, a blocker, a removal spell. If Fots is a land, they, they, those don't do it. Cancer wins the march. This hasn't felt like a particul particularly triumphant march either. Nice Kylas. Oh, into apparition, apparition. All right, so we would like top deck this, take this, draw another one, go this with X3. Would even hit free creatures. I think I should keep. I can use the map on Dina to ramp to potentially. <clears throat> I have 23 lands in my deck. So there is no way I'll just get mana screwed, right? See? Journey on. Overground Tomb. It's a bit weird than BTL. Being stuck, but it is BTL or like BTL like. Deploying Kelan, Daring Traveler, Abzan. It's probably not five color, but just Abzan. Leyland Bonding. So this is a five color deck. I have to assume. Could hit the up the beanstalk, but I think that just fixes the mana for my opponent. Well, for not much benefit. I don't expect them to draw too many more cards with it relevantly. Like one more card. <clears throat> Seems like just a bit mana screwed. Scared found you. Extinction event. All right. I think I'd rather play. Two creatures seems preferable to companying. So grab Giganta. 
angle defending Clarion but now hmm, company can get my uh, Amalia feel sad to spend Bosedru but Do I get Amalia and return Dina or get a Lunark Veteran? I think I would get Lunark Veteran to gain more life, to explore into something good. Seems like the life loss not really important. Five explorers. It's a lot of explorers. Holy shit, those lands. And to return to the ranks. Oh. Straw return to the ranks seems not too bad. Not great either, but I mean, I guess like can return Dina alone should probably kind of win me the game. They play Sweeper, I get to return a lot of stuff and Amalia is gone. Holy shit, it's Yashard. <laughs> Clearly just mana screwed. Reveals Forest and Plains, okay. Oh, Leyland Blinding. Shit, it's so bad that I had to spend my Bosejo last turn. Maybe I didn't need to, but like so bad I spent it, I guess. Oh, I can't use my map! Holy guacamole. I can't use Dina. The, the Ashar is actually relevant. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's so bad actually. We attack with the two creatures. Return Dina, opponent goes to 11, attack with 3 creatures, opponent loses 4. Goes to 7. I have a Dina in play, but I cannot sacrifice with Dina because of Yasharn. They're at 7. I can keep attacking with the veterans then. If I had Bosejo. And I guess I just like free Amalia and then we check what we do. Ho 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 ho. If I could use my map to make my specials into a 4 free, then I it would just attack into Yasharn profitably. Can also attack with free creatures and if they block specialist. Well that's just bad for me because they will block specialist. Oh, I think it's might add up to 20, I guess, like with this new context. It's not like my specialist is gonna do anything. They go to seven, and somehow I calculated that they would go to eight. I guess Amalia just gets one trigger from the specialist. Play Douglas Shrine. Grabs Giganta. Chord of Calling. You can get Apparition, kill Yasharn. Attack for free. I can get Amalia. Get two life points, drain two. Get two Explorers. Can get Welcoming Vampire, not good. Apparition, kill Yashan. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. So I think they really don't have anything now. They don't have blue and I don't have anything. Apparition. Can deal seven to them. I think Apparition looks a tiny bit better. We also crack the map. Mm. 
that way. Binding, that is not nothing. <clears throat> In that case, I'll get Amalia, I think. I don't know if keeping Walker has like a high success rate. <laughs> It asks the question, I guess. Would rather keep a cord on top, of course. <clears throat> but maybe their hand is just enough. Bring two lights and they have to play Giganta to draw. Yeah, they're playing Giganta to draw. It's weird they tap like this? Out of Leyline Mining? <coughs> You have removal, bro. No, don't play anything. Assassin's Trophy. Shuffle to Amalia, shuffle to the bottom of my deck. <clears throat> Assassin's Trophy. Get him, Luminous Phantom. Show him who's the boss. <clears throat> I guess they finally cast their BLT. For Elash and... I probably don't overcome that. It's possible that the decision to play Bosseju has costed me. Very surprising to see Omna fetched, but I guess if they have another removal back back up and they don't want to die to Omna. Karyated, okay. Well they don't have removal and I draw Amalia, return to the ranks. Or scattered groves, then into Prosperous and Keeper. <coughs> this really looks like a Niv deck. Yasharn, main deck. Spiral, Clarion, Trophy, it probably is. Probably is playing this. And Mord Ego. No, but she needs this right. I don't know, Extraction Specials against the Binding deck, once again, Stinky. I think Sentinel has low odds of doing anything here. Only four creatures. Can go to 24 creatures, I think. <coughs> The thought seizures are, are a little bit intrusive in that way. I don't know if voice does that much here too. It can protect the combo if I assemble the combo. I only have one card to assemble the combo with though. Rough times, rough times. I like to play first, so I would hacking love too. Sure.
tab land. Don't ever want to have my company tapped. Doesn't seem important to play veteran immediately unless if I draw Amalia. Tell me how you care. Let's not reveal that I have basic in my hand. They have trophy in their deck. <clears throat> spiral. How lucky do we have to be to be able to cast Spiral on time in my opponent's deck, huh? Words can't begin to describe that. Mm, another Spiral. Mm -hmm. Let's continue hiding the land. Is there a chance I can combo off now and put Reservoir on top if I attack? And even in my hand if I... Company now. The risk of being weaker into sweepers. Let's see if I draw Fotsies. I don't. Clarion. Solid. Carry out it again. Two mana, two cards left. X3. If we have a counter spell, I'll cry. Holy shit, those hits. That changes everything. <coughs> <laughs> Keeper. Next turn I can take Numa. No, I meant to get Walker. Fuck. I literally meant to get Walker. Shit. Because I wanted to get Walker to have the combo full, fully available. Well, as I say, sometimes you combo and sometimes you don't. Nev Mezet draws Grove Spiral. <sighs> nice fucking deck, bro. This card take Numa. Take the welcoming vampire. <clears throat> Summon more voices. I have two cards in hand, so maybe it's not the worst for me yet, but it certainly isn't too best the best. Or I can go vampire and keep her next turn. Probably better to go vampire. Mm, Lunar Veteran Tapland Shocking Holy shit What the fuck is that? Okay Not too bad <laughs> Alright, we're racing, you really want to race? Holy shit. Cord. Right, let's think. Okay, let's don't think. Let's not think. Play this. Play this. 
Can you score to draw a card later? Osejo seems nice to save. <coughs> Can get Dina on their turn. I think I'll just attack for eight. Holy shit, those five color crap decks are incredibly bad. <coughs> Even if they have a good matchup against you, they're so bad. Clarion. <coughs> Sad. Okay, sure. All everything dies. Gain gain life. I take back I take back what I said about Niv Mizzet decks being bad. Clearly not applicable. I get Amalia now, get the Scries. Nice. I guess I can get extras, extra triggers, but I can make them pay free life for the world. <sighs> but I have to like use Poseidon now while it's cheap. He's a phenomenal control player. I go to eight, so I don't die to the Nif Shizet, Shit Mizet. I surveil something nice and juicy on top. Company. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll draw company, yeah, sure. Why not? Seems good enough. Maybe. If I die to Colgan's command right now, I'll be sad. And I'll cry. Hopefully they just summon Giganta. This is not summon Giganta. No, this is summon Giganta. I didn't notice it being grabbed. <sighs> okay, collective company. Holy crap. That is not what I need. Keep the big Amalia. Gain four. Raiden, Graveyard, <coughs> Kelan, Graveyard, Welcoming Vampire, oh my, Welcoming Vampire actually cycles, if I jump with Veteran, no, no, I attack for seven. <clears throat> I will die to a removal. Mm, pay cost, not a good sign. All right, Xander's launch, sure. Cycle more, triumphs, carry out it. That's even better. <clears throat> well, I mean, this still blocks my Amalia, so it's not great. I guess I don't actually get to cycle. When I get to champ the Niv, I get to gain two life, so it's obviously a decent top deck. The Angel. If my opponent blanks, they did draw a Fable Passage. Holy shit. Maybe I can scry a Lunar Veteran to my graveyard. Ooh, return to the ranks. Into the graveyard? No, I don't think so. Chant 
champ with that carry added. And now I have a powerful top deck and you need to like beat my board too. Holy shit, this game. Since they have defending clarions and not exiling sweepers, I think I should have uh, zero core to return. I think. Just can't afford core, this is inefficient. This matches up okay against this sweeper. Apparition doesn't really hit anything. I, one I can keep. Get lost for Elish Norn, perhaps. Specialist is also better. I think Ray Dan seems pretty trash though. Actually. Raydana. This way I keep two reconstructions, two specialists. Apparition just like in case. Yeah, Sharn to tutor for, but I guess I don't have tutors. Probably should cut the apparition for the walker or innkeeper. Maybe innkeeper. Innkeeper can survive free damage sweepers if I have a map. Also just more combo. Or maybe the veteran is the best. The flashback monster is just relevant. Holy shit, I don't know. The treasure is good with Kailas. No black. Two companies. I think this is pretty solid to have two companies. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll draw something to play, maybe black. So bad to have the forest in my hand too, but I can draw black mana, I can draw monsters, Kelan. Inkeeper would be great. I guess I only have two. I can draw a third stinky ticket thicket. So this is gonna be my thicket to victory. Well we'll see. Point kept seven, scary, scary stuff. Two companies should like make it plausible to assemble the combo. Wow, spiral, carry out it, up the beanstalk, okay. Oh, come on, something good. Okay. Hmm, yeah. Good enough. Playable. Oh, so black mana is okay. Two drop or three drop is okay. Scattered groves, huh? Is that okay? Let's see if it's okay. There's a chance I'll have to suffer through and more ego. Or just BTL for something good. Okay, only growth spiraling. Okay, and still ooh, miss land drop. Step bro, I'm stuck. Should I cast company sorcerer speed? I don't think so. I think the odds of my opponent having veto are pretty slim. Against the voice deck, right? They are just incentivized to take sorcery speed cards. So you have no interaction available now. Company, don't disappoint me. Okay, that was not a disappointment. That takes a good chunk of their life total out. Kyla. I think Kyla makes me play Boseju. And attack with my monsters. Should I? Sorcerer Speed Company. So what against Extinction events mostly? Can just win if I hit Walker plus Life Gain. Should do it pre command. This song. Wow, this song's so bad. <coughs> if I do it mid combat, I can also look stupid if I hit. Sentinel of the Lost City and Wild of Walker, but they miss land drops, they will have to do something on their turn. 
that something is probably extinction event which i might be very weak if i company into two drops but not the combo i think i'll try to take advantage of my company pass fetch EOT Mountain, okay. Maybe more voices is actually just good in the deck too. Rather than the welcoming vampires and then... Voice also taps for chord much better and... The voice beats are not too bad. I mean, they're pretty bad, I guess they do too, but... I don't know. Okay, opponent this casting. Uh, BLT. I could just go extinct and I try to deal 8 damage now. Don't miss on me, company. Well, I've seen better ones. Holy shit. Couldn't I get a, another monster? Like anything? Like Wagrofoker Kellan. That would be nice. Uh, let's cast a Sorcerer Speed one now. Like my head has good value in it, but it's also useless. A bit annoying. Innkeeper. Innkeeper Welcoming Vampire. Can play Amalia and combo then. I could get Dina with Inkeeper. That's gonna be really good with Return to the Ranks too. Maybe the Vampire is better. So for sure I'll get the Inkeeper. It fixes my black mana, it's the combo piece. Having the Dina available, it seems pretty easy to cobble together the last few damages. The Vampire draws cards. Holy shit, I don't know. Dina is a 2 drop for return of the ranks. I think Dina puts more pressure on my point to act too. I wish I could hit all three, but I guess I can't. Can have nice things. I have three minutes need to hurry up. I might Clarion, but then Okay, we win. Awesome, 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 awesome. Do I win? I think I'd win. Holy shit, this deck. I have to say I'm gaining slightly higher appreciation for returning to the ranks and I think maybe the reservoir is gonna... Maybe I should cut the reservoir for second Dina, play free return to the ranks. Or something. Like the Dina seems just useful in many draws. It mid like it cobbles together the damages to kill opponents. The reservoir is kind of just a blank draw and then two boss surgery against incarnation is okay. Or other Bossage of the spell is okay. Although concealed courtyard of the top 
Seal Hoopla. Holy shit, that's in Ilya's presence. Played by Sergio, but also Fable. Fable, a bit rough. Ay, 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 Fable of the Mirror Sracker. Discards two up the beanstalk. Clearly no lands because he played out a Bosseju. Who endures? Who? Bone Crusher Giant, Maidina. Friars, okay. I win. Do I need a land to win? I need a, a land to win. What does I rush to go on do? Lands. Hmm. Well. Untapped land and we win chat. Can we get it one time? Holy shit, we actually can. Holy shit, I won. So one thing that Kyla's reconstruction is weak to is Gravdigger cages. Is incarnation? I don't know if how much like I want to grind. I think Sentinel make does nothing, except making him up through Elish Norn. Yes. I think I want to keep cards. Redone maybe, but I don't really think redone. Helps against the useful things. Extraction specialist is bad. Let's play another apparition. Minus one cord, minus one return. We get lost too. I don't know if voice does anything actually. You want to court for? You just have four court to combo harder. Probably not. Submit. Shit hands keep.
think I'll keep the Foxes for later on. I want to play Kellan on two, so I'll journey on first. Is this deck playing Lockdown actually? Like, is it even play Lockdown? It's not playing Lockdown, right? Because Lockdown is not good in it. Because the bad thing is Fable happening next turn. The bad thing about not Foxy-Zing. No, musi mieć kurwa Fablaka, nie? Ja pierdolę. You have the full combo. They're focusing right before the Fable Ramage, you know, not so effective, maybe. I think Elishnorn seems like a problem. Court of Calling. Keep guard. Hmm. If he draws nothing, then I'll win next turn. This is. What if he draws something instead of nothing? Then I'll struggle, I guess. Path to the World Tree and Massacre Girl. So he has two new cards, not three. He knows I have Cord, I guess. He knows I will combo next turn. If I have an extra green, but I kept the Cord. Presence. He doesn't have anything, or at least the heavy thinking seems to point in, point in that direction. For whom the bell tolls. Right the finger, wow, so funny. Mining or volley. GG, świetnie zagrałeś. GG's. Byłeś godnym przeciwnikiem. Marcinek. What did I reveal, Walker? Holy shit. Wow, what a great hand. What if I had two lands instead of Amalia and Amalia in it though? I have to Morgan. And I can keep. Probably put back specialist. Or return to the ranks. It's likely gonna be weaker this hand. El Ragdos. Tank, 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 take the one card I will always take company. Oh, they might have duress in their hand, I guess. Tank for a solid minute, take company. Congrats, brother. Probably just play veteran. Although keeping veteran for triggering vampire is maybe reasonable. Black, black. Smaglocopter. Almost forgot about this card existing. Let's cycle. Trespasser. It's not good. Trespasser is gonna 
It's gonna get me. Having to mulligan against Ragdas and then having a poor draw is just kinda the opposite of things being nice. Sentinel would be better than welcoming Vampire here. But at least for a removal. Holy shit, those Italian songs. I can't listen to that. It's horrible. Oh, black, black. Apparently, deliberate gamer. Maybe I can top the company. Every turn of the, of the game. Or even Amalia would be fine, just sucks that Graveyard Trespasser is here. Company. Amalia is good. I mean, it sucks that it's gonna get us killed. For the specialist. So maybe I don't even play Amalia now. Maybe I play her next turn. To avoid removal right now. I might actually. The explore triggers into company is invaluable. I prefer this stomp than my Amalia. Malia might also, if she actually explores, she might explore a uh, Huid and Fotsis. Let me just take Hopros Bira, which I see. Oh, bro! Holy shit. Didn't even crew the copter because why? Why would I crew the stupid copter? Idiot. Can still top the company and just combo. Or rather Vash ticket and not combo. Holy shit, playing mid-range decks is so pretentious, it's incredible. It's actually incredible. Especially with main deck graveyard hate, come on company. Oh, almost. Company into combo. Last time, I'm not gonna ask for it any more times. Shoulder, no problem. Actually, it's a huge problem. Need to double jump now. Extraction specialist is never good. I Not like it's reasonable to have push against Trespasser. I think Remorseful Cleric is kinda weak too. Look at such a wonderful life. 
Sentinel blocking trespasser is nice. Low opponentos. Let's play the game. Never not play the game. Let's play the game. You want the die roll. Would you like to play first? Oh shit. I mean freelance for spells. Like the spells are not particularly bad. They're just not good. Just the double walker is not good. Unless I can produce a map. Right, play duress. Can you do this much for me? Not faulty, duress. Okay. Journey on. Play Kalan. This is not bad. Also, I could have drawn a Malia to combo, I guess, but. Now I have a Kalan attack next turn. Explore. I can go Walker, Walker. Crack the map to grow the Walker. Path of Peril. Not in love with that, but I get to play my walkers. I probably don't want to get my map fizzled. Although I have a third walker, which like is even more life and value, and I don't spend my treasure then. I'll regret if I reveal Kailas. I'll not regret if I reveal a land. I have more lands in Kailas. Let's go Path of Peril again. No, Fable of the Mirror Stracker. Let's draw something good. Fucking hell. I can't draw anything good. Hmm. <laughs> Four damage puts them at 13, like they could technically die. Can't reliably protect from the shaman making treasures anyways. I don't feel so good, Mr. Chat. Unless I draw Kailas. Baby boy. Discard Croxa and Inti. Croxa, huh? Trespasser is so good. In this matchup, I feel. The incidental housing, the board, which makes it unremovable. Crazy shit. Can I draw Kailas? Reconstruction. Kailas into Amalia voice. Life gain. Holy shit. Amalia apparition. Pro has Knight of Dunk Shadow too. Cool Valest and Pierre the Eve Bunny. Top the Kailas reconstruction. Bro, just wait till I explore. I can't even gain life. All right, Kailas can hit four creatures now, though, so just wait for what's gonna unfold. 
Tokiu numą your crocs a bug, brother, sure. Hate bears out of black decks are so much better than they are out of non-black decks. She plays so well with Dot Sizer. They even have double knight, so I can't Kylas into combo. That's crazy. Fucking temple god and piece of shit. <sighs> copy and top copy. I mean, bigger Kylas, I guess. But also, like, Trespasser just punishes removal super hard too, because you can't cast a removal spell on Graveyard Trespasser and win the game. Or at least that's how I feel about it. To me it feels like it's impossible to win a game in which I do that. It's probably bad to tap your... Knight, right? Because I actually... No, like, unless I die this turn and I can't count, but I think I don't die, I get to block. Well, maybe I die. This is a lot. <sighs> Take free. Make treasure. Discard. Blood crypt. Put it on. Exile Fotsis. Put it on Croxa. So I take seven from Croxa. This guy blocks this. Those guys block this. This blocks this. And I take Shedem. 15. So I have to block like this. Shedem. 8, 9, 10, 11. And then I can win. This is my archer. Was the Menacha and the pumping ability? This can, this has too many words. But I keep a Wagrove Walker so Kylas can fetch me removal for this and combo. Let's go, Kylas, save me. Kylas, 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 come on, one, one time. No, Overground Tomb. All right, I guess. It was a bit hard to win a game in which I literally only drew three Wild of Walkers as my spells. Okay, I also drew a Kellan, but here it was. Not like it would hit anything. <laughs> Holy shit. Get two Amadas and get mad anyway, so. Giga cringe. Giga cringe, I guess. I hope this time I will top deck many companies. Two in my opening hand. Alright, I'll keep this. I think I prefer to keep a hand like this than to Morgan it. I'll just draw two lands, play, start playing on free but on the play and company twice. Control. Sucks to miss a two drop but Let's try two drop on turn three. Sentinel, I think it's gonna be the best at like starting to pressure if my opponent plans to resolve my creature and spend their time 
Omen of the Seeing. I wonder if they will play Omen of the Z. <laughs> As if I bred the future. It's rough if they are, if they are a field of ruined deck. A hey, Ganjo. I think playing the Vampire is nice. Lines up okay against both Emperor and Deluge. Hopefully no Deluge. Olipka. I'm not sure if this is particularly good, but seems like it is. Holy shit, that's very good. Sweep this now, buddy. I cast a draw too. Typhoon is annoying. I think I'll just keep drawing cards for now. If I typhoon if the typhoon is too bad for me to me. If they farewell, then I'll company after farewell and then combo. Typhoon, okay. If they don't do anything, I can just chill. I don't know if tapping voice is actually good. Vito, understandable. They land, that's bad. Wanted to, wanted to be able to attack. Because I can attack again through this free free shark. Sad. Cracking the omen. Okay, another shark. I could... Combo. It would be great to have a Malian play. Instead of those guys. I cast Divination. The fucking free free shark. If I have Amalia in hand, I will actually be able to combo safely with the voice token. If I have Dina, rather, I don't want to Amalia yet. Explore with the vampire, walker, 
Graveyard. Cycling. One cord, no cord. I think maybe I wasted the cord under there and it actually didn't do much for me. Maybe I should have companied. Because with voice I have full protection, so I go for the Dina combo. It also doesn't seem very shelter attack of the walker. It doesn't seem very shelter attack of anybody. On all honesty. I shark typhoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I want to discard Amalia, I'll probably just discard Overland Tomb. Can't really see discarding Amalia being better. Voice is actually squeezing my point by the balls. You could like frame that this way. If you would like to. Get lost one of my vampires. Yep. You stuck a Numa looking for Dina or Cord. Because I don't find Cord with it. See the vampire. Get lost the other vampire. So the fight you want to fight. So now I can Amelia the board and then have a lethal big threat. And Dina should be in my graveyard. Or either I can try to find Dina, or I can play uh, Comic Vampire, or I can play Company. Shit, this is so hard. Hmm, they are trapped low. So I play Company and I find Dina, it's gonna win. Maybe it's a good time to play Company. I could play Vampire, Veteran, Draw. Pass, we get a leg like back. The same situation with my opponent. Can explore a bunch and attack with the well, start attacking the Wagram Fokker or Ender Prosperous Inkeeper. The Vampire draws me a cord. Need to play a bit quicker. I can't spend too much time on that, I feel. Like. Specialist. I want to explore away the reservoir. I want to attack the walker that might trade. I guess I pass. Okay, the vampires were impressive this game. Still are TBH. Are we sweeping? Lockdown. Okay, I have a schedule. I mean, they're gonna get two omens, though. that's kind of spooky, but. Holy shit, they can't do that, that's great for me. I think second Dina would work as well as Reservoir in this game.
need to hold four. The reservoir and shoot them for fifty. Holy shit, the lag is gonna be wild on that. Can't fuck around too much in the postport games. Holy shit. Uh, all right. Right down is might be a slightly useful against sweepers. Not sure though. Court being instant is good, but don't want it clogging my draw too much. Seven creatures. If I cut three more creatures, that's gonna be a bit rough. I think Kylas might actually be not great because true control. I think extraction specialist times one. Okay, one cord 61. YOLO. Holy shit, look at this, keep this. Lockdown isn't even particularly good against my deck. Come on, land. Awesome. I think I'll play Amalia. Make it appear. My favorite draw. Wow, it makes it appear this. Maybe that's the funny next turn. Just wants to tap down, but it, it even then, like the funny, I wouldn't really do that. I think.
My hidden land I'll keep playing if I want, I probably scoop. Could have get lost versus the party. Holy shit, that song is like five seconds looped and it's unlistenable. Hmm. Hello, opponent. Chat. This is even worse. Get Schmoss and Schmutz dies. Worst cards ever. My hand. That wasn't quite masterful tapping of my mana. Fuck. No point in playing the Kellan to get it get lost this turn. It's wasteful. Because would have been better to have played the Kellan if I tapped correctly. Last turn, can't afford to draw reservoir. Into pressure. And then draw companies. Fear of the Dunk. Fear of the Dunk. No Emperor. Get lost. Holy shit. I play Hero of Dominaria. I plus. Can shuffle my company with Field of Ruin, I guess. I still have two planes in hand. Fear of the dark. If I draw Kylas now, I'll cry a little bit. Okay, just Yorion. Big cannon sounds better. Holy shit, under company. This probably goes to my graveyard. So I can draw a card of Kellan. Like, like company passed it anyways. Graveyard the Potsies. Uh, 
Uh, if I don't hit a creature, then I would rather keep company on top if this gets countered. Fear of the dunk. Yeah, we counter for this, it's gonna suck. Fucking hell, no! Quench too! Uh, okay, I deserve another company now. Not Kyla's though, not Kyla's. Okay, that's not bad. Holy shit. That's the target for my Busseju. I mean, no cop, I might fight it off. Probably not. Uh, it's my other white mana. I have two cards in hand. One of them is a plane still. Can't cast Kylas anyway. First ever in history of magic, Poseju on Omen of the Sea, maybe. Verdict. Oh, sure, verdict. Pure creature away. Keep it on top. Wow. All right, something good, something good, something good, something good, some banger. That's actually pretty good. I'd rather draw first or explore first. I'll explore first. I don't want to draw a land. No second white. No, I draw it. I guess I draw it and I combo? Company. I have one return, not many more companies, and reservoir is milled. Let's keep it. I have to Kylas if I dig more. I already stopped, so... I mean, I probably should dig towards Kylas. Kylas would be much better. Fuck. The time kinda got me. Because I should probably find another white land, I'll play the ticket, then my other confluence. I guess they don't even need to kill a mana they have castle. Emperor. Want to go to two? I guess you don't. So Laskar is verdict. Explore Hall of the Storm Giants.
Come on. Can't even talk to Kyla's now. I think this might have been win this probably was winnable. If I find Kyla. Kyla's instead of that company, I can just play it sorcery speed and I guess I have to. Maybe I was not supposed to combo on that spot where I comboed. I missed up earlier in the game, which also I would be slightly better off, probably. I put that other company on the bottom of my deck, but I guess I drew company anyways, right? Still, we're playing. We have four life. Kylas? No, I guess Kylas I don't want. I can't cast. Cool one. This doesn't even help with Kylas. Maybe I need to re examine the amount of sources in my deck, though. If I want to play Kylas, that's like one issue with that. Kylas plus three colors plus cord is challenging. Can kill my white source. Holy shit. <sighs> also the lag game one, just took so much time of my clock, annoyingly. So it was bad that we flipped Reservoir earlier in the game. That was sad. I mean, they haven't drawn counters I can draw. Return to the ranks. What this? What does this get me? Keeper. So Kylas is an out. I guess my Amalia is exile actually. They also played into Quench, and if I could have not played into Quench, maybe this game. Luna Love plays Canister. Okay. What's Canister though? Planes? Seems like it. I want to draw D now. Well, preferably Kyla's into D now. Holy shit, the lag. This doesn't do anything to play it. Should keep it. It's better if I draw D now. A big typhoon. Doesn't do anything to play it. At 27 lives, so maybe I die next turn if I like get attacked too much. That is a big typhoon. 9 9. They kept 3 mana up, so that. Probably means they have absorb, which puts me on no outs, but if they are just pretending, then they don't have absorb and I'm fine. The change I need to block.
Holy guacamole. That's interesting. Yeah, I die. Oh, la la. Holy shit, get lost on Wild Grove Walker. That's too much, man. Alright, death. Dina. I'll be able to dig towards return to the ranks. Which then would be good enough to win. Uh, I should have, yeah, I should have dug more of that Amali I got. Low on time and it ruined me. That's a playable hand. Haunted Ridge. Haunted Cringe, you say? Probably prefer to make a map than one. Then if my opponent keeps up mana, I play voice. If not, I play Kellan. The Harvester. It's Harvester time. What is this? I fought this, I push. Sure, buddy, sure. No third land means four spells. <clears throat> Fable of the Mirror Sracker. Maybe Knight Errand is a better card in the cyborg than Kyla's. It's not as good as a, of a top deck though. My return. Just kept all the cards. Dios mio. Tank, tank, tank. You take return to the ranks, bro. It's obvious. Well, actually, it is not because I will play a land and a graveyard trespasser and then I will hold up a treasure. Fatal push with my uh, Goblin Shaman treasure token. Okay, bro, okay. I see that, I see. It all makes perfect sense. Two card. Makes... That looks weird. Read the sequence. Surprises me. But let's see. All right, villain. What's your plan now? Because you can't necessarily even attack into my Amalia if I flip a land. Resident Sleeper. Can explore something better than Kellan with the map? I don't think I want to. 
can take go to seven and I can deal two damage to them too. Keeper, graveyard, Bosejo. Oh, Bosejo, fine, can kill the Fable. Fable. They're on 7, on 11 life, only so attacking them matters. Really surprised they didn't take Chord of Cold, that, that they take Duke Return, didn't take Return over Chord. Sroldred, right. Verteran. Can look for Walker a bunch. Walker on top. Jump attack. Reservoir on top. Swing I'll find reservoir, maybe I won't, of course. Still, that should be a good position for me. Alright, I keep the return. Seems good enough. Get lost. I mean, what? Do, why get lost and not the push? <sighs> like my last opponent had the vampire, the knight rather, that stopped my life gain effects. Just less in keepers. I think veteran is a better card overall. Like although in keeper Kyla synergy is actually real, and I'm always removing my white sources with heavy hearts. So. Let's do it this way. Also push on the draw helps me survive a bit. Holy shit. Alright, okay. the sand is really good if I draw land, so... Sure, look at my... One lander, which is soon going to be a free, free lander. Swear. Take Walker. Holy shit. What if I miss? Fast land, fast land, fast land, fast land. In full. Stomp Amalia. Key. What about the second one, huh? I play Fable of the Mirror Sracker. Holy shit, this stupid reservoir, Asgard, is leaving my deck soon. This cast Bloodcrypt and Swamp, so assuredly they draw two more lands and they have nothing. This is attacking, it's either Stomp again on Amalia. And I'm fine with that. Or a Sweeper, 
I don't want to take damage with two confluence and being behind on lands. I think I kind of need to play a bit more aggro. It seems like they didn't have anything besides that. Hairs, holy shit. Punished. I think second extraction special is probably not really all that desirable if people go to such length as boarding in hairs against my deck. It's kind of insane to me. It's probably not insane, but it's kind of... Holy shit, Reflection, Harvester, so much stuff, need a push. Or not. Malia. From 10? It's gonna be hard to beat Reflection Harvester. Although they sacrifice the blood token, which means they can't use the Harvester to kill any of my good creatures, just the weak ones. Maybe they maybe opponent was has a push and was digging for a land to have revolt and push my vampire immediately. Two cards. Come on, play a bone crusher giant. It's a good play. Holy shit. What? And I like copy, copy, copy. Kill three monsters. I think the reservoir has extremely low chance of doing anything like the reservoir would, would make some sense in the sideboard maybe not main deck though yeah, yeah, I copy Harvesta. I kill Wildgrove Walker. I kill Vampire. I play Land, I play Bone Crusher. Or Joldred. Joldred. I guess Company into combo. That's my out. Or Forest. That works too. It doesn't actually work. Kailas, I guess, is an out. Kailas into combo, always. Best draw. <laughs> Still an out now. Trespasser, okay. I guess company to combo is still an out. I guess not, I have to block now. Well, it still is because I have the veteran cast. Combani! 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 Zawsze musi. Overgrown Tomb, nice, nie? They have hairs. Card and extraction special is add a card. Got one push. I haven't seen the knights. Maybe the pushes. Game one. Pushes on the draw. One more in keeper. 
I have two apparitions to find with the cords too. Wake up. Make up. Hmm. There's voice or Amalia on top of my deck. Maybe Kaelan or Wilder Walker too. A whole bunch of cards. Well, my point is Mool getting to 5. See, they moved to 6 so far. Second Specials is fine. I probably shouldn't be playing 2 though. It's not as good. Not, not that good. <clears throat> Hive of the Eye Tyrant. What's this? Why is I beast? My two drop is hidden on the top of my deck, remember? See? Not the best two drop, but they play Harvester and I draw Amalia. No Puff of Peril, please. Kurva, no, I said no Puff of Peril. What part of that did you not get? No Shoulder it. Shoulder it time. Shouldered, 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 shouldered. <clears throat> I said shouldered, opponent. Couldn't you hear? When determining if it's possible for them to tap out for a shouldered. Okay. It's almost like shouldered. I think a lot. Push check. Holy shit. We did it. Reservoir on top too. I mean, it's like really useful to have it in this spot because it actually makes a difference, the reservoir, I think. But I think mostly it's post board because pre board you can just rely on reserve, return the ranks and post board your reservoir people. It's graveyard height. Pre board I think makes no sense. You get to draw two and discard two, friend. Well, discard two, draw two. Rewarded for boarding the cores in on the play. It seems like they had like a two mana removal spell and they fought hard as to whether they can play the fable or not. Also, they threw away their useless licensers. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I beat Karuga with this hand. More so with this. Return to the ranks on the bottom of my deck, actually relevant. To remember. Even if I draw two fast lands, I can play. Play them. So just need company to hit Amalia. 
Gonna tap out on turn 4 for some bullshit. Holy shit, herd migration? Is that Quintorius? Holy shit, that is Quintorius. A binding? Quetka. El Trejuro. I play Elephant and win. Let's go. Wow, must be nice. It's sparked double the first time. Okay, I can't whiff anymore. <clears throat> I think against 20 life you really can't whiff, right? Anyways. Oh. Release to the wind, new card. Maybe release to the wind is better than the other clone. Hmm. Chandra Wick Inferno. We didn't see that, right? What a stupid dick. Extraction special seems to be bad. And send out to oh, the nameless city too. Really like no desire to hit free drops ever. Not about it. I guess Archon stops the combo. That's a good free drop to hit. <clears throat> Maybe. I think I can return to the ranks. Times one. I guess here I would appreciate a golden goose. Yielded goose. This has no black and no <sighs> no life gain there. So I have eight for off and if I draw Prosperous and Keeper the sand is giga great actually. Top land upon top lands. I play voice. Miss Landra play walker. I don't think so. This looks better. Like that. Let's play the most expendable one. Like if I attack them, then I attack them, that's fine. But I don't think attacking them actually matters. 80 life is good enough, good enough of a combo versus them. I think I play Raidana. They have a deck bedazzle, they spend it on Raidana, I think.
Mm, I don't see much benefit in waiting. Since we're gonna see if this results or not, and then if this results, then that's a huge. Holy shit. That's inconvenient. Pucha, what am I supposed to drop us? Holy shit, two bedag bedazels. Bulka. Sram. Holy shit. Play Wag of Wanker. Is it worth it to keep the land in hand? Any draw where it matters to play it? I don't think so. I want to board my return the ranks back to my deck immediately. Although this game was so cringe. Victorious, huh? Maybe my opponent's hand is free spark doubles. For sure that's the case. Damn, at least the wind is a pretty nice fine. It like makes the combo. Significantly better. Free removal spells kill you. Muka. Ay, ay, ay. It's probably not a great matchup. But also, my draw could have been better. I think right down doesn't really do anything in my deck in general. I mean that's how I always feel about right down. Each opponent so you can't even use Valkmira to protect. Well, while a cringe way to end the day, at least it was fa it was fast. So, I'm <laughs> sorry.